they're a compilation of different coupons from the areas around the area. Usually, um, organizations like sports teams will team up with a specific company that will make them. And it takes various businesses, um, it gathers coupons, different types that people all the time go to, everyday places like grocery stores, Subway, different things like that. And the books could be of all different sizes and <laughs> varieties. So you can have larger books. Some people have very small books that can just like fit in some, someone's purse. Or some have larger books that are a lot easier to keep track of and make sure that nobody loses them. So some of the pros of fundraising with discount cards is that they sell themselves. So for example, for my high school, we had on the first page were four or $5 off to a local grocery store and everybody had to go to the grocery store. So, and they were sold for 20 bucks. So you got your 20 bucks right back right away. So they're really easy to sell. It's also usually low price, only 10 to $20 for the book. I've never seen really more than $25 for one of the books. And it appeals to all age groups. So you can sell it to a 20 year old who needs groceries or you can sell it to the elderly who still has to go to groceries and still get food and everything like that. And you also don't have to go door to door if you don't want to. Um, you can work with some of the businesses that are in the coupon book and set it up so that you can sit outside, set up a, set up a stand outside their um, business and sell them out there to the people going in because you know they'll use the coupons. It makes it more likely for them to buy it and want to support. The only cons really are that it's based around the local business, so if you go out of town or out of the area, you're not going to be able to use the coupons. And it's also, you have to know how many you're going to sell because usually you have to order a certain amount and then you have to sell what you order or you won't get your money back for that. What to consider before buying? You also, you have to consider about the wellness policy which is very important to do before you do a fundraiser. Also, you have to do the price company, how much the price of the company will charge and the property you receive, that's a big part in it as well. You have to do the time frame of the coupon, like how long you gonna do the time, like how long you gonna do the coupons, for how much time, with what seasons and whatnot. And the printing and shipping cost is pretty much about, depends on what, the company is giving you and how much you're willing to spend. The overview of the wellness policy, we gave you the link to the wellness policy. And the mission is to encourage healthy lifestyles for Washington County public schools, employees, their dependent families, retire retirees, and most especially students through health information modeling and support, not just life as an active process, but making it inform decision toward a quality assistance, and also understanding that health and wellness are initial to a person's ability to contribute effectively in school, work, and daily lives. We encourage our students and employees to use this website as a resource to do many programs and opportunities to foster a quality of life. Give me a pause. All right, so how, how can discount cards Align with the wellness policy here in Washington County. Our mission to encourage healthy lifestyles for Washington County public schools, employees, their dependents, families, retirees, and most especially students through health information, modeling, and support. Not just life as an active process, but making informed decisions toward quality existence. Understanding that health and wellness are essential to a person's ability to contribute effectively in school, work, and daily lives. We encourage our students and employees to use this website as a resource to the many programs and opportunities to foster quality life.